Hello, this is Nick from Breaker Games, and this is the Breaker Bulletin for April 18th, 2024. Alright, for those of you that are not familiar with the Breaker Bulletin, this is my show where I go over all of the different Kickstarters that are in the process of shipping or that are in uh, other stages of completion. Additionally, uh, other projects that are coming up, what's going on with my Patreon, any events I've got coming up, all of everything going on with Breaker Press Games. So, that being said, let's jump straight into it. First and foremost, shipping right now is Sorceress Rites of the Elements. Uh, I started shipping these, what, a week ago? And uh, predominantly the ones that went out were either ones that uh, shipped along with the Protector of Genulane or they were ones that were envelope copies because envelope copies go really quick. Uh, so, yeah, uh, a bunch of those have gone out. In fact, 62% at this point of the uh, Sorceress Rights of the Elements have shipped. That includes PDF copies as well. Uh, long and short, it's it's moving along. Uh, right now, we are going to be switching over to uh, shipping the ones that are in hard mailers. Uh, a lot of the hard mailer ones are going to be ones that also have additional add-ons and what have you. So that takes a little bit longer. Uh, the Protector of Genulane at this point is 80% shipped. Uh, and both of these things are available on the uh, Breaker Press web store um, right now if you are interested in either of those things. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is 80% shipped. Uh, the last batch was all ones that were shipped out with Sorceress Rights of the Elements. Uh, the next ones that are going to go out are ones that are tied to either the Tome of Debasement or Rabid Dogs because people added those on. Both of those things have been in need of a reprint for a little while. Uh, so I need to, the priority next week is going to be getting those reprints uh, finished and ordered. One of the things that I do every time that I uh, do a reprint is I do like a quick rebalancing of things. I look at... Uh, you know, how things have played it uh, in all of my games at my table, whether at a convention or at home. And if I see something that needs tweaking, I will tweak it and then do the reprint. So uh, those those tweaks are going to happen next week and the reprints will be ordered. So, uh, yeah, where, where else are we? Uh, Tragedy at Woodwitch Rise. So Tragedy at Woodwitch Rise, um, I'm down to approximately six pages that need to be laid out. Uh, but one of the things that always happens at the at the end of uh, a layout is I determine whether there's important stuff that is missing. So there is a chance that I might add another four pages. That's been known to happen in the past. So whether there's six pages remaining to be uh, filled or whether there's uh, ten pages remaining to be filled, it's somewhere in that ballpark, uh, but it's moving along very quickly right now. In fact, I am going to be running another... Uh, two uh, sessions of Tragedy at Woodwitch Rise this weekend. And so, uh, you know, there, information always comes out in, in the, uh, in the uh, um, playing of the adventure. So, um, yeah. Oh, also having to do with Tragedy at Woodwitch Rise, Ricardo Gaspar is still turning in more fantastic art. I was going to put uh, a couple of pieces in this, uh, in this video. And I totally forgot to add those into the queue. So uh, just keep an eye out online. Uh, if you go to the Patreon page, the uh, if you're a free member of the uh, of the Breaker Press Patreon, uh, you can go and take a look at uh, uh, the Armored Snapper, uh, which is one of the monsters that went up recently. Uh, there were a couple other monsters that went up recently, so you can go check those things out. Uh, currently. Uh, uh, Ricardo is working on a new version of the Wood Guardian um, because this monster that is in uh, this this beautiful monster right here that Jamie Jordan did it also appears in uh, Tragedy of Woodwitch Rise and so I'm having uh, Ricardo Gaspar do a new version of the art I'm very excited about and uh, yeah so that's what's going on with Tragedy at Woodwitch Rise let's see what's next I've got tons of notes here all right, uh, Rabbit Dogs Volume 2 is up next after that. Uh, I started dropping uh, all the new classes into the layout. Oh, that was like two weeks ago, three weeks ago at, at this point. Um, but I started dropping all that information into the uh, document. There already was the uh, equipment tables and all that. Uh, so Rabbit Dogs Volume 2 is coming together. Um, once Tragedy at Woodwitch Rise is uh, at the printer, 
Rabbit Dogs Volume 2 will move very quickly. Uh, because all this stuff is written, it just needs to uh, be dropped into the layout and go through editing. The one thing that should be noted is that uh, my normal editor, uh, Alex, is in the process of going to look at apartments uh, this coming weekend. Uh, this, yeah, tomorrow. Uh, in the Midwest. And so uh, he is going to be uh, uh, flying out to the Midwest to go look at places and will be moving in the month of May. Uh, so, yeah, uh, there is a chance that there will be some hiccups with uh, editing. Uh I do have a plan B if uh, Alex is not available. So all that to keep in mind. Um, so where did I leave off? Uh, tr once tragedies at the printers, all the articles are written. Yes. Okay. So moving on to Standard Courier Volume 2. That should be done in June. I'm still flushing out uh, the new uh, NPCs in play. Uh, and so... Yes, yeah, sample pages have uh, um, started dropping, or excuse me, sample pages will start dropping on Patreon probably in May, June. Uh, and yeah, that's that's a big deal. So a lot of the, uh, uh, reaching over for things, uh, a lot of new NPCs that are going to be in that book, um, you know, the art is already done as uh, can be seen on these cards. Uh, and I'm very excited to, actually have those NPCs in people's hands so that they can start playing with them at their tables. Uh, but uh, yeah, still a little bit more work to do before it uh, before we get into full layout and editing. Uh, so uh, talking about these cards, these beautiful cards, I'm gonna jump to a video right here. Hello, this is Nick from Breaker Press Games, and today I want to tell you about a Kickstarter project that I have coming soon. It is called Peculiar NPCs, and it is a collection of 54 portraits that you can utilize in your games. Now, why do I want to make a deck of portraits? Well, it just so happens that I found that when I do this during games, players don't make the visual recognition, and I'm worried that my players are going to see important stats and details about that NPC. Whereas, if I actually just hand them a card like this and pass it around the table, they make a visual connection with that NPC and they might even pick up on details about their expression or things on their clothing or what have you that they can extrapolate and, you know, ruminate on uh, during their games. Now, as I said, this is a fantastic collection of portraits from Jamie Jordan and Ricardo Gaspar. Uh, you will recognize if you've uh, bought Stenner DCC products before, uh, these uh, various NPCs from the Standard Courier Volume 1, Hillwood Camp, Protector of Genuine, and numerous others. At this point, uh, the deck is going to be 54 cards, 52 humans, and 2 dogs as jokers. I hope you think this is a cool Kickstarter project. It will be launching in mid-April. See you then. All right, so hopefully uh, a bunch of you are going to be interested in that Kickstarter. I mean, these these cards are so beautiful and so useful, and I can't wait uh, for people to be able to use them at the table the same way that I do. So, uh, what's after that? Well, a couple of people have commented that they're anxious for the Precipice of Corruption hardcover that I've mentioned in a few videos so far. Uh, though Hal uh, has done a bunch of the layout work already, I don't want this one to hang over me the way that the Protectorate of Genuine did. This was, you know, a cross that I had to bear for like two years. Sure, I did go through the equivalent of a divorce at that same time. Um, but I just don't want to have one of these projects that people have to wait and wait and wait and wait. And the best way to ensure that is the case is for me to be much further along than I am right now. Uh, before that Kickstarter launches. So, um, you know, at this point, uh, he's waiting for me to rewrite and submit all of the bonus content, which is going to go into uh, uh, the Precipice of Corruption hardcover. So, yeah, rather than, rather than you know, rush this thing uh, to Kickstarter, let's just be patient and wait so that it is awesome and everybody is satisfied so that is the goal i know things won't go perfect they never do 
Um, but, uh, you know, I've done this enough times to know that big projects are my bane, uh, and they are the, the things that I have the hardest time getting done, so why don't we just wait a little bit longer? So please, be patient. Uh, so, that being said, um, what else do we need to talk about? Um, yeah. Oh, that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll start working on those uh, rewrites of the bonus content and getting that stuff submitted to HAL once the Standard Courier Volume 2 is basically in its final stages. Because uh, that's how I got to do things. So, let's talk about other things. There's all sorts of other things going on with Breaker Press Games, because there always is. Uh, first and foremost, Prisoners of Genulane should be the next uh, the next Patreon reward that goes out. That should be the uh, the April Patreon reward. Uh, I'm not 100%. Uh, I might push a pamphlet up in, in front of that. Um, it all depends on where I feel things are at. I haven't uh, opened the file uh, since last month, uh, but I do remember it being pretty far along. Prisoners of Genulane is basically, it takes... Uh, the dungeon from uh, the Protector to Genulane and sets up a uh, prison break scenario, uh, which is always a good time. Uh, so, yeah, that will be going out to uh, Patre Patreon backers, uh, to patrons, uh, either this month or next month. Uh, so, that's coming up. And then, uh, what else? Events. So... Uh, this weekend, on Saturday, I will be at the Sanctum in Racine. Uh, if you are uh, already a person that goes to the Sanctum, go check out uh, if you get the Secrets of the Sanctum newsletter. They did a very fun interview with me. I got to talk about some things that are a little different than what I normally talk about in interviews. Uh, so if you are a member of uh, you know the, the, the Sanctum's newsletter, check that out. It's a fun time. Um, I am going to ask them permission if I can reprint it in my newsletter uh, once it's, you know, had time for their their people to read it because I, I, I was into it. I was happy with it. Uh, then on uh, Monday night, this coming Monday night, I will be at Games Plus uh, in uh, Mount Prospect, Illinois, so out, just outside of Chicago, and I will be running Tragedy of Woodwitch Rise there as well. So Sanctum on this coming Saturday afternoon, and then Games Plus on Monday night. Then the weekend after that, I will be at DaveCon running the uh, Goodman Games booth during the day, and at night um, I will be running the Precipice of Corruption and Wide-Eyed Terror. Uh, both of those, uh, both of those sessions uh, are pretty. They're just about full. I, I have seven of eight seats filled in both of those. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't signed up, go sign up. And also make sure that if you're going to either the uh, games at the Sanctum or Games Plus, that you let people know that you're coming because seats are limited. And then uh, after that, I will be at Origins in June. So May. Um, even though I'm thinking about doing a couple of in-stores, May is going to be pretty lean because this has been a lot. Doing doing a uh, a weekend every two weeks is, it's a lot. I, and I've been doing that since since January, January, February. So yeah, uh, it's time for a, a little bit of a break before I get back to more conventions and what have you. So that is what's going on with Breaker Press Games. Uh, we're at over 13 minutes, so I think we can wrap this up now. Thank you for supporting Indie Games and Indie Game Designers. If you have questions or comments, put them down in the uh, comments down below. Uh, all the information, links to web stores and all that stuff is in the doobly-doo. Please like and subscribe and comment down below because it pushes things up in the algorithms. And if you're not already a member of the Breaker Press Patreon, you get fun stuff in the mail every single month if you are a member at $5 and above. So go check it out. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good weekend.